What's good, Vibe Squad? Squad? Who do it? We coming to you today with our review of Fifty Shades Darker. Please tell me y'all went to go see that movie. It was really, really good. We actually enjoyed it better than the first one. Thank God. Yeah, thank God. I loved Anna's character a whole hell of a lot more than I did in the My first girl grew up. movie. She grew her pair. She wasn't going to take no more shit. <laughs> I, oh my bad. I really just love the fact that her whole direction changed. She's not this, not so soft spoken anymore. I mean, she's a woman in power. Yeah. Now. She's now no longer trying to be the submissive, trying to make that work in her life. I, I love that. I love oh, yeah. the fact that she's changed. I like the fact that she said, I'm, I want a relationship. And she even broke him down so much that he gave it to her. And then some. I mean, he. He did what he had to do. He changed as a person, too. I appreciate Jamie Dornan's role that he played in this movie because in the last movie, I'm sorry, he was stiff and kind of dry and boring, and I didn't see what the big hoopla was. I read the first book, and the character in the book, Christian Grey, will always still be better than the one that's on the screen. But Jamie Dornan's character, he I mean, his acting skills, he stepped it up this yeah. movie. He, there, I guess it comes with showing more depth to the character showing more of why he's the way he is. He makes him more more relatable. Like everybody has things in their past that shape them today. Yeah. And this, you can finally see it. So now he's a person to me and not this modern day Greek God that they tried to make him into. So I really thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, see that's the male aspect of it. I like the whole male Greek God aspect of it all. And you know, this, you know, this is more written you know, based on the female, yeah. you know, persuasion. Yeah, that's because true. Because this, this is, you know, some guys might read the book, but, you know, women are the ones who flock to it. So I like the way they portrayed Christian Grey in the book. I just did not approve of the actor's performance in the first movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I think that's just basically them trying to fill them. Out the character they're, they're True. trying to get a feel for each other as well as their character and that mm -hmm. that could take a lot and yeah. but I think they actually got it down this second movie because I, I um, yes I, it was really really good and if you have not seen it please you need to go check it out yeah because we're not gonna give you any spoilers but I mean it really the, the story gets you this time it hooks you into it there's more of a story yeah. and not just I'm dominant I want you to be submissive Randomly, I'm going to hit you for no reason because it's called punishment. You know, it's more so, it's more getting into their relationship and seeing how things are going to be for them to move forward further into their relationship. So it's it's worth it. I, I think yeah. it's better. It's way better than the first. Mm -hmm. So go see it. Definitely go see this movie. Support us so we can go to get that third with no problems. And hopefully they won't take the route like all these other book movies and split it into two parts for some odd reason. I think that's just a money thing. But then again, the last books that authors write for trilogies or series are usually the most in-depth, biggest, because that's, that's their big finisher. I see why they split them apart. But I see no point in doing that to the next Fifty Shades. Well, as far as we know, because we still have to read the third book. True. And basically, it's it's for the shock factor or the anticipation of the, you know, you want you want the last movie to be the last movie since it's only three books. Well, technically, there's four books. But I, I think if they did a gray movie, then it might be a whole nother Ass, a whole nother situation maybe right you know, showing things from his point of view or right maybe if they focused on his early life whenever he was with the person who taught him the whole dominant submissive relationships and yeah. how his relationships with his own mother shaped his life things like that yeah you know maybe if they wanted to go that route but in all in all for this movie i give it a solid seven out of ten if i had to score it i'd give it a seven out of ten if I had to score, I'd be between a 7.5 and an 8. Just because that, you know, that's more of my genre of movie. He's more comedy action. Fantasy I'm more fiction. drama, sci fi, not sci fi. I almost lie. <laughs> yeah, you almost want Suspense. Big one. Suspense, drama, thriller is more you. Yeah. Yeah. So let me tell you why I'm giving you a 7.5 and it's a completely biased BS reason. 
Jose. <laughs> Everybody remembers Jose from the first movie or the first book. You know, a little freaky little pervert who tried to molest Anna. Yeah, him. Him. He's still around. That no. No, he should have went to jail. Or Christian should have dominated his ass. That, that see, he, I mean, like, physically in a fight, not... Okay, see, that just came out wrong. That just can't... No. No, that's just wrong. But Jose, that... Why? Why? When you watch the movie, you'll see. I can't stand Jose. Can't stand him. And can we just get on the fact that that's such a cliche name? <laughs> but, you know, I ain't gonna knock E.L. James. Because she she did her dang thing. She wrote these books and got them out. That's all. I'm, that's the reason why I'm watching. Because she wrote these books. But still. Jose, though? Jose, though. Fuck Jose. I don't like his character. <laughs> hey, hey, he, he, no. He could have been not in the movie and been fine for me. Or just that little bit. Been good. Been good. Um, I've been fine for you. Yeah, because forget him. That would have been let Jose would have done that to you. Jose wouldn't be breathing right now. Whatever. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Whatever. I'm biased. I don't do that. I'm not that kind of man who's gonna let Jose slip and slide. He just slip and slide right into a jail. Or grave, one of those. Okay. And let's try to get this video to at least a thousand likes. And if you really like it, hit that subscribe button, join the Vibe Squad, and follow us on all our social media accounts. All the links are down there in the description below. We'll see you next time for our next review or our next challenge. Anything, just keep it posted here.